I, then I again, I... here I am, my fat ass is, you know, <laughs> not really much to say. I've also counted the calories of some of the nights where I drink beer, like watching WrestleMania on Sunday night. I counted all those calories, and that was... Uh, oh, boy. I don't even want to know. 22, 2300 <laughs> calories. Just from beer? Just from beer, yeah. So that doesn't include any of the snacks I ate or <laughs> any of the, the food I ate the entire day. Like, I, you know, I, I could probably go full uh full letting and just you know drink beer the entire time but i i'm I'm definitely my downfall isn't necessarily the the beer it's what i eat after i drink the beer yeah that's one of the biggest pitfalls of it the mistakes like oh look i have all these nice we we get uh keto tortillas and i make my own keto tortilla quesadilla and I'm like, oh, well, it's healthy because it's keto. And I know damn well it's not. But in my head at <laughs> eight beers in, because I, you know, went shopping at uh, Kroger for their six pack for nine ninety nine. Yeah, I definitely I, I definitely <laughs> have been drinking way too much beer because of that six pack for nine ninety nine at Kroger. That's and I'm actually I'm curious about now that you bring that up. I wanted to ask about that and that you have shown some six packs from Kroger, which, as you said, is nine ninety nine. But there are certain beers that get put into that six pack, not only from you, but there are other people who I've seen post on Facebook that are clearly worth more than what Kroger is charging. I guess in a way, does that feel a little bit dishonest in, in purchasing those beers that are much worth are worth more than what Kroger is selling? Or no, is this Kroger just kind wants of to a... get rid of it? They didn't if I find it on that shelf, I'm putting it in my little six pack. They didn't break out that, you know, four pack or six pack because it was selling on the shelf. So that's you know and, and I mean I'm finding really good they they need to stick to the non and and I, I don't want to say whale like that drafting table beer that I got over there, but like heavy duty beers do not sell at Kroger. They do not need to be selling shorts batch 12,000 at Kroger like that. That's just something that should not happen. Um, you know, Jolly Pumpkin, maybe, but those beers are such a high value of entry. Like you need to take a, you know, spend a lot of money for those types of beers. So I personally like. I don't feel bad at all because Kroger paid what they wanted. So it's not like I'm ripping off the brewery. I'm ripping off Kroger. Kroger already paid the distributor who already paid the brewery. Kroger's just trying to get their money back because it's not selling. Yeah. And I mean, there's there's some really good, like I've seen Le Fin de Mon in there. I've seen, you know, uh, KBS in there. I've seen Rubeus and Blushing Monk. Like I've seen some major high priced beers and I just go for it. Like it, I, I walk by it every time now. I'm like, I wonder if there's anything good in there. And what's good too is, is that they have a lot of um, seltzers in there. So if you're trying to look for the seltzer or the seltzer brand you want, you can kind of like pick and choose and get a nice little six pack. So between Vizzy, Truly, like Matt Bush, who's in the the chat is saying seltzer is perfect for, which I'm guessing is for me, like over drinking on a night um, to drink seltzer and not <laughs> 14 ounce beers. Um <laughs> But yeah, that's for for me. I just make sure that I, I I get what I want. If I don't want, I wouldn't buy it in the first place. So Kroger's gonna get paid a little bit of money. The brewery already gets paid, and I get to try some beers that I probably wouldn't um wouldn't n normally purchase. Mm -hmm. Fair. I mean, it's, it's like you said, Kroger's already made their money. So well, well the brewery's already they, made they, their they, money. they already brewery's already made their money. Kroger paid them their money. Pay that man his money. <laughs> it's another uh, gambling reference here. Give me my money. Uh, I believe in the chat. Cash. In the chat, uh, Gary is saying Kroger and Hilton Head had Avery Uncle Jacob Stout, uh, which is a thirteen dollar bottle for two ninety nine. As as the local commercial, wow. two ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> yes. I would have. <laughs> I would have just said, just, just give me the cart. I'll just, you got any more in the back? I Honestly, I, I would 100% suggest to people who go to that have the build your own six packs, like the Meyer, the Kroger, just check it out. And I mean, if worse comes to worse, you might find six beers for 10 bucks that you might want to take a, you know, a single run at. I mean, Dan, Dan, what's the, um, the, the grocery stores out there? 
Oh, the Albertsons? Publix? Uh, there's Albertsons out here, mostly Safeway and uh, Fry's are the two. Do they do they do nine ninety nine for a mixed six pack or right? they do fries fries is basically uh, Kroger same company okay. I believe Albertsons is too and then there's Safeway they might be as well they're all kind of owned by bigger companies but they all do the nine ninety nine six pack I was actually looking at it today they didn't have anything really worth at least at the Safeway here downtown it was all crap beer that you wouldn't really want to put in there but um, I've seen much better ones at other places outside the city. But if you're a say, say you're like, you know, Rob and Rob wants to get into IPAs, he's not a fan of IPAs. You know, I might be projecting here, um, but he <laughs> not too much. But for 10 bucks, I could try six different IPAs. And if I don't like it, I only spent 10 bucks. I didn't spend 10 bucks for six six packs. Yeah. And that does make it good. I mean, that's a lot of the beer stores, just like out there, do that too. So it's, I think it's something that really caught on from the beer stores and it does help people find, you know, different beers to try. It's actually a pretty good idea. Wendy, it looked like you were trying to get in a word. Oh, I look every time I go to any of the stores that do the mixed six packs to see what I like or what I could find to try new or things like that. Like Hop Slam, I'm not a huge fan but i do like to try it every year so i always usually i always i always usually that doesn't make any sense <laughs> um i usually will go to a, one of the stores that has the mixed six packs and grab it from there so that i'd only have to buy one instead of a full six pack. yeah i think i think the worst thing it does is it discredits a lot of the local beer stores like a zatuna liquor who sells singles all the time and carries all these beers that you want but again well, Zatuna's far away from me right now, um, <laughs> but oh. I just – it's one of those things to where I want to try some beers, and it's its uh, impulse buy. That's what it is. It's a complete impulse buy, um, but I'm also smart enough to know what I'm looking for. So, you know, kind of like a, a person who goes to a comic shop who is really intelligent about comics. They're not there to buy comics. They're there to find comics. And I think that's what I see in that mixed six pack is, is I'm there to find some beers for me personally that I just want to um, want to try. Yeah. And there might even be some of the mainstream stuff. Cause I know at the Kroger's by me, there's usually, it's hard to find the real, the really good stuff in there. But every now and then there's something that comes out that is one of the, the big mainstream beer companies that I want to try it, but I don't want to pay for a 12 pack. So it works out for me to try just that one. 